channel fluffy's kitchen if you haven't already done so please remember to subscribe thank you to all my subscribers all right so today we are making cauliflower two ways cauliflower is one of my favorite vegetables because you can do so many things with it so we're gonna cut this cauliflower in half and we're gonna roast half of it and we're gonna fry half of it and toss it in buffalo sauce so the first thing we're gonna do is just cut our cauliflower in half um i removed most of the leaves that were on there and i rinsed it so we're just gonna cut this in half and we're gonna use one half to roast and one half to fry. So I'm just gonna put that aside. I'm just gonna cut this into little pieces and you can use your hand and also um, break apart some of the stems. All right. So we're just cutting these into small pieces. I'm gonna throw that part away. I don't need the bottom part. Like I said, we can just break some of the pieces for it. So we're going to cut this into small pieces and transfer them to a bowl. All right. So we're transferring our cut pieces into a bowl and we're going to drizzle these with olive oil and season them. So I'm using spike seasoning. I'll put that down in the description. Um, Mishish dash, garlic and herb, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. So the first thing we're, oh, and a little bit of Dijon mustard. So the first thing we're going to do is drizzle some of this with olive oil. So we're going to drizzle our cauliflower with some olive oil. I'm using it's spike seasoning. I'm just going to pour some in my hand because it is very salty and I don't want too much to come out. So I have some in my hand already. So I'm just going to add it to our cauliflower. A little bit of mixture stash. Garlic and herb. All right. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. And a little bit of black pepper. All right, so we're just gonna toss this in. Really make sure the seasonings mix in very well. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven to roast on 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. If you like your cauliflower more on the crispy side, you can do 20 to 25 minutes. I like mine more on the crispy side. So, so as I was tossing my cauliflower, I totally forgot to add one of my ingredients, which is a pinch of Dijon, mu Dijon mustard. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that right now. And then we're going to toss these again. So I'll drizzle my pan with some olive oil. And now I'm going to add the cauliflower to the pan. Just going to spread them out so they bake evenly. Oh, we got an extra stem on there. I'm going to take that off. Throw that away. Just gonna spread these out evenly. So while we have our cauliflower roasted in the oven, we're gonna get started on our, our other half of the cauliflower, which is gonna be fried and tossed in buffalo sauce. So to make this um, other half, we're gonna prepare a wet batter. So I'm gonna use pretty much the same seasoning. The only addition I have is the turmeric, because I like to use a pinch of turmeric to give it a nice um, gold color. And we don't need Dijon mustard for when we're frying it. And I'm just adding on um, the table blend mixture sauce to the seasonings that we already have. So we're just gonna go ahead and have our spike seasoning. I'm not using any salt. Um, like I said, spike already has a lot of salt in it. So I don't need to use any salt. So we just added a little bit of that. I'm gonna taste my batter to make sure that it has the right um, taste that I want. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. Everybody knows how I like. I love garlic powder. All right, a pinch of turmeric. Um, this is like literally a pinch for color. Um, black pepper. 
Going to look under her mission stars. And then some a pinch of our table bed mission stars. All right. So we are going to add some. Well, we're going to start in first. Just use a spoon to start this. So we're just going to start this in to make sure all our seasonings are blending in, blended in well. And I just tasted this to make sure that um it had it. I'm just going to taste this to make sure it has enough salt. Um, like I said, um, the spike seasoning has salt in it, so I'm literally not using any salt at all. All right, so that's started and mixed in well. We're just going to add some flour to this. We want about it to be, um, well, actually, I'm going to use my whisk for this to make it way easier. Just going to grab my whisk and whisk this in. So we want about it to be wet. But thick enough that it's going to adhere to the cauliflower. The cauliflower is going to stick to it. So we're just going to keep adding flour until our batter is thick enough that the cauliflower will stick to it. And we're just going to whisk the flour in. So our batter is to the consistency that I want it to be. Not too thick and not too um, wet. That when I add the cauliflower to it, it's going to stick and it's going to fry well. So I forgot to um, include that I added a pinch of celery salt or some celery salt to the batter. I feel like the celery salt gives it a really, really nice flavor. So I'm gonna add one piece of our cauliflower to the batter to see if it's thick enough. Um, it's a little too wet for me still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm going to add a little bit more flour and I'm just gonna show you how thick the batter should be if you want a more crunchy. So I've just been testing my batter to see if it's thick enough. And I like my cauliflower to have a rather thick batter. If you like a thin batter, you can leave it like this and not add more flour. But I'm going to add more flour. Keep in mind, as you're adding more flour, you might need to add a little bit more of spike or um, celery salt to adjust the salt. I've added a little bit more flour. You can see the batter is a little bit more thick. You can add more flour if you want a thicker batter or less flour if you want a looser batter. But I like my batter to be more um, on the thick side. So we're gonna go ahead and add the cauliflower pieces to this batter and fry and mix it in our cauliflower pieces into the batter. Then we're gonna put these in oil and fry them. Our roasted cauliflower pieces have been roasting for 15 minutes in the oven. I'm just gonna turn them halfway through. And they have about another five minutes to go. Like I said, I like my cauliflower crunchy, so if you like softer texture, you don't um, have to take them out as quickly. You can leave it in longer. I do like crunchy. Cauliflower pieces. has been added to the oil. We're just gonna keep an eye on these and fry um, until they're golden brown on each side. So we're gonna turn these. See that one brown, we're gonna turn these. And our oil is on medium heat. We do not want the oil to be too hot because the outside of the um, cauliflower will cook or the batter and not the and our cauliflower is frying, any batter pieces that have been floating around, you can just take them out so they don't burn in the oil while the cauliflower is cooking. So our cauliflower has fried to a golden brown color on each side. So I'm just going to remove them from the oil and let them drain on paper towel and then toss them in buffalo sauce. So this is what our cauliflower pieces look like once they have been fried. And I just place them on paper towel to drain any excess oil. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna toss this in buffalo sauce. We've transferred, we've transferred our fried cauliflower to a bowl. And I like Frank's um, red hot wing sauce. This is the sauce that we're gonna toss our cauliflower in. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour as much as you like. I like a lot of wing sauce. Look how good that looks. Then we're just going to gently add a little bit more. We're just going to gently toss this in the sauce. We're going to cover our bowl. So we're just gently stirring our cauliflower pieces, shaking the bowl. We don't want the batter to come off. All right, so let's open this up and see. Voila. We have buffalo cauliflower. So here is our finished product. We have roasted cauliflower, oven roasted cauliflower, 
you know, I said cauliflower two ways, but I decided to leave some of these plain or naked. So here's the fried cauliflower in the middle. And then these are the buffalo toss cauliflower. So I'm about to taste all three of these and decide which one I like best. So our cauliflower is done. And now is the hard part. I have to decide which one I like best. So I have some sauce, some dipping sauce. I have ketchup um, for the plain cauliflower and blue cheese for the cauliflower and buffalo sauce. So I'm going to start with the roasted cauliflower, see how this tastes. Yummy. Let's try our fried cauliflower. I'm going to dip this in some ketchup. Crunchy. Mmm. Yummy. Mm. Now let's try our buffalo cauliflower. I'm gonna dip this in some blue cheese. Mmm. Yummy. I can't decide which one I like best. Mmm. So I'm kind of stuck in between the buffalo cauliflower and the plain cauliflower. So try this recipe at home. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know what you guys think. Enjoy. <laughs> It's really